So I'm gonna show you some of the better drywall anchors to use on your RVs. Hey guys, welcome back to Why Wait. I'm Chris and today it's gonna to be a real quick video. I wanted to talk to you about how to hang things on your walls in your RV. Now, pretty simple process. We obviously have command hooks, which we use for lots of things like pictures that don't weigh a lot and things like that. But sometimes if you wanna hang something a little bit heavier, like shelving, or what we're gonna to do today is hang up our vacuum, well, you're gonna want something a little stronger than just a Velcro command um, hook or Velcro command strip. So I'm gonna show you some of the better drywall anchors to use on your RVs. And there's two different types really kind of for two different walls you have in your RV. Now over here, you have what would be considered an exterior wall, meaning on the other side of this wall, well, is actually outside of the camper as you can see from the window right here. So you're gonna to wanna to use a different anchor for the outside exterior wall than you would for say an interior wall. Now over here behind me, we have just an interior wall. You can almost hear how flimsy that is. It's hollow, there's nothing inside of there. And on the other side of this wall is basically the bathroom. And so you're gonna to wanna to use two different anchors depending on which wall you're trying to hang something on. Now me personally, I prefer to hang something heavier on an exterior wall because those walls are gonna be a little bit thicker and they also have a foam inside of them. Now you wanna make sure you find out how thick your exterior wall is because the last thing you wanna do is go pop in a screw right through the outside of your camper <laughs> right on the other side of your fiberglass. An easy way to find out how thick your wall is is to go to your front door, open it up and measure the inside gap to see how wide your wall is. Now, once you've measured and you know how thick the exterior wall is, you can go out and get yourself some drywall anchors and some screws and you don't have to worry about the screw being too long and obviously going right through to the outside of the wall. And now don't forget, you may come in contact with a wooden stud just as you would in your house. You can use a stud finder to try to find these. Sometimes it's a little difficult to do. An interior wall, it's pretty easy just by banging on the wall, you can feel where the stud is at. If you do find a stud, you can use a screw just like you normally would. You don't have to worry about that. But if you can't find a stud and you, and you have a certain location that you wanna hang something, go ahead, use one of these drywall anchors and they should work out pretty good for you. Now, some of my favorite anchors for hanging stuff on an exterior wall would be just these easy anchors right here. They have them in plastic, they have them in metal and zinc coated. And what you basically do is take this sharp tip right there and you just push that right into your wall. And then you just take a screwdriver and you screw this into the wall until it's flush with the wall. And this is great for your exterior walls because the exterior walls are basically just filled with a styrofoam material. And this goes into them real nice and easy and it holds real tight and it does not want to back out. And as you can see, I already did one here and that the, it's flush up against the wall and then you take the screw that comes with it and you screw it into there and it leaves you a nice little place to hang something on and I can pull on that and that's real tight that is not coming out of that wall but just make sure you check when you do purchase these they still do have certain weight limits for all the different uh, hangers that you may try to buy now drywall anchors like this would not be as effective on an exterior wall because as you can see these all have a system where as you put the screw in they open up and spread open. All of these will open up in some form or way, end up looking like this one. As you put the screw in there, it starts off like this. You have to drill a hole, push this in. As you put the screw in, it's gonna pull this as it comes out this end and it's going to open up and it's going to end up looking like that on the other side of the wall. And that keeps things from, well, falling back out. Now these are great for hollow walls walls that have nothing inside them, which are gonna be most of your interior walls. This is a similar style to this one right here. It already comes with the screw. As you turn the screw, as you puncture this into the wall, that middle part right here is going to open up, expand, and it's going to keep it from coming back out. Now, you don't wanna use these on your exterior walls. I find that they're not as good because of all the styrofoam and the exterior wall here, it does not want to open up inside that styrofoam. So I definitely prefer to use this kind right here. We've hung a couple shelves and things like that around our RV with them and they've held up great. And that's why today I'm using that on this little wall right here to hang our vacuum, which is a heavier item. 
So as you can see, this is the hanger that we're gonna be putting on the wall that's going to hold the vacuum. And it's going to just go right on top of there and come down and it's gonna hold. So we have to put one more in on this side. And again, we're using these easy anchors. You're gonna take that sharp tip and we're gonna push it right into the wall here. And as you push that into the wall, it's pretty easy. Then you just start screwing it in nice and slowly. And it's gonna make a nice little tight. Just keep screwing it in. Take the screw, they usually come with them. They don't always come with them. A lot of times you can purchase these just by themselves too. You just have to find the right diameter screw that fits into there. Get that started and we're gonna go ahead and screw this in. And obviously you can use your drill too with this. I just like to use a handheld screwdriver just make sure I kind of go nice and slow, make sure I feel things out as I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. That fits on there nice and tight. And now we can hang our vacuum on there. And by the way, if anybody's looking for a nice vacuum, we actually just recently got this vacuum online. It's been really good. It has different volumes of power that you can adjust. It has attachments. Pull here uh, extends really nice. Been really happy with this one. I'll put a link down to that below too, just if anybody's looking for a good, pretty affordable, uh, nice stick vacuum for their RV. Now you can find all these drywall anchors, obviously any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, whatever. I'll also put some Amazon links down below in the video description if you just want to grab some off Amazon real quick and just have them sent right to you. But again, make sure you measure the thickness of your walls, your exterior walls. Make sure you're not poking a hole through those. And it's a simple process to do that. Um, don't be too intimidated by trying to hang things on these walls. We have a few pretty heavy items hanging. They've held up well. They don't fall. Nothing like that. We do tend to use command velcro strips in most places whenever we can to hang pictures and things like that. But when it does come to heavier items like shelves, hanging a vacuum, something like that, we do prefer to go with these drywall anchors. I've seen a question come up a lot of times on Facebook. How do you guys hang things on your walls in RV? Hopefully this will help some of you guys out. As always, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Lots of videos on DIY projects, how-tos, maintenance, and things like that. And if you could, like the video and hit that notification bell so you always get notified when we have new videos. Appreciate it. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.